to hit him in the groin or hit him in the throat. Right. So it has to be effective. So Right. Like MMA is the closest you can get to a street fight. A real fight, yeah. It's the yeah. closest thing you can get. But at the same time, it's not a street fight. It's not a street fight, yeah. There are, totally there are rules. There are rules. Yeah. You can't kick someone in the groin. Hmm. Right. I mean, if someone's down, you can't probably kick them in the face. Yeah. You can't bite them. Or, yeah, you can't. Right? If someone's on top of you, you oh. can't hit him in his groin. Yeah, you can't. If someone's caught in the pin, yeah, yeah. you can't. Right. So, now when those guys are training for that, right. now suppose... You're training for the armbar. You know what's an armbar? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. yeah, yeah. Now your goal is, okay, I'm going to get him down. You're a jiu-jitsu guy. Okay, yeah. You're going to get him down and you're going to do the armbar. Right. Or you're probably go, going to go behind and give him a rear naked. Right. So. Right. Right, you can't get out of there. Right. Okay, now, but that is how you train. Right. Right. For, you have been trained for sport. Hmm. Now when you take that to the street, it's a completely different body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely different body. Now, People are brutal, man. I've seen fights. Yeah. They, they go... They just do anything. Pick up anything. Yeah. They go crazy. Like bloody yeah. faces and all. Yeah, yeah. I've so, seen ugly bar fights. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> so, the thing is that what Bruce said right. was to avoid going around the bush uh-huh. and go straight to the point. Okay. So, simple. The principles are simple, direct, effective. Right. Right. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. yeah, yeah, yeah. The simplicity in your movement. So, when someone's coming to you, Rather than doing all that, getting him on the ground and then going in for an armbar, okay. you hit him in the groin or hit him in the throat. Right. So it has to be effective. To so neutralize, basically you exactly. decapacitate the exactly. person. Oh, okay. So your attack is your defense. Ah, right. Right. That's Jeet Kundo. That's That's the whole concept. Behind. Okay. Attack first. <laughs> yeah. See, now it depends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting into nuances. Right. I'm just talking to you, don't go and <laughs> <laughs> Right. I mean, you got to be ready for whatever may come, right? Right. Now, if he's going to throw a punch, or mm-hmm. it's the way of the intercept. The Jeet Kune Do means the way of the intercepting fist. Right. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's not like Taekwondo uh-huh. or Karate or something like that. It doesn't. It doesn't mean any traditional thing. It right. means the way of the intercepting fist or foot. Okay. So basically, you're intercepting his movement before he hits you. Right. Right. 